This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Another Republican entered the race for Roy Blunt's U.S. Senate seat in the Show Me State. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt says he's running for the open seat in 2022. Now, Schmidt was elected as Attorney General in 2019, and he'll face disgraced former Governor Eric Greitens in the primary. And mask mandates are back on the agenda. This time, city councils are debating getting rid of them. That's what happened in St. Joe after a contentious debate. The city council voted to end the mask man mandate three weeks early. It's no longer in effect starting today. And the same thing happened in Maryville, Missouri, about 90 minutes north of Kansas City. Its city council ended their mask ordinance more than a month earlier than its initial expiration date. We do know the college there, Northwest Missouri State University, will keep its mask mandate in place. And KCTV5 is your school authority. Students in KCK go back to the classroom next week. The Board of Education voted to start in-person learning five days a week on March 31st. KCK is one of the few districts still holding most of their classes virtually. Students do have the option, though, to stay virtual through the end of the year if they choose to. The Shawnee Mission School District may have to tap into its cash reserves to pay the natural gas bill. The district was hit with a $1.6 million charge for February. Their provider, Symmetry, based in Texas and unregulated in Kansas. The district says it will explore legal options before paying. Now, Symmetry also set a $2.4 million bill to KCI. That's 30 times the normal amount. Mayor Quentin Lucas says that they'll try to negotiate with the company. Natural gas prices spiked 100 to 200 fold during February's Arctic blast. So get the lawnmowers ready. Not saying that you'll need to fire it up this weekend, but I have a feeling that more than just a few will actually mow their lawn for the first time this weekend. Bordner Home Improvement City Cam, this one is looking out from the Nebraska Furniture Mart area, looking for breaks in the clouds. I looked at every camera we had. I didn't see one. And we probably will not with that double barrel blanket of clouds, the leftover clouds from the first storm and now the vanguard clouds from the one that's coming in tonight. With uh, temperatures uh, pretty consistent across the metro, it's basically mid to upper 40s and it looks to be about the same way. Now there is a six degree difference between Bethany at 44, Butler and Clinton and Sedalia at 50 degrees, but that is still a pretty consistent temperature across the area. 47 now, west winds about 10 miles an hour. Now that's kind of a lull in the breeze. We've had 20 mile per hour wind gusts throughout the morning, so there is a bit of a breeze outside, and that'll continue this afternoon with temperatures, as you can see, that are, again are ranging mostly in the mid 40s, but we'll improve on that. 47 will turn to 51, then 54 by the middle of the afternoon. So today will actually run a little bit cooler than normal. The clouds will have a lot to do with that, and the breeze will make it feel even cooler than that. Here's a look ahead now to your Thursday. 41 degrees in the morning. Kind of a chilly start to the day. That's a see your breath morning. 43 at 9, but we'll improve on that, working up to about 54 and up. Here comes the rain. Let's check that out too. Live power Doppler radar not showing any rains close to home. This is a look at that system that just pushed out long gone, but now to the southwest, a developing storm system that's already beginning to push a few rain showers into southwest Kansas. Still about 270 miles away from reaching Kansas City, but it's on the move. And we could see a couple of drops late tonight. I think tomorrow, though, you know, about noontime is when the rains will pick up. Notice the heaviest rains will stay on a track to the south of Kansas City. We'll catch some of those northern showers off of that. And then another little shower develops late Friday night into Saturday. But the timing of this puts it in the coolest part of the day. Not expecting much rain out of that one. Let's check out the rainfall. This is the first rain. This is one that's coming in tomorrow. Could give areas southeast of Kansas City maybe a half to three quarters of an inch. KC picking up a little bit less than a quarter according to this. Then the Friday rains come in. More goes to the north. But again, KC picks up maybe about a tenth of an inch out of that. Security Bank seven day forecast. And you're looking at temperatures today at 54 degrees. That'll run all the way into the 60s by this upcoming weekend. So Kelly. We're all looking forward to the weekend. It dries out and it warms up. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.